Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am going to be showing you all how I did these large flat twists into a high bun. I am starting off on freshly washed and conditioned hair. I am also starting out on blow dry hair. I found that blow dry hair just makes it easier for me to part my hair with just a little bit less stress and heady. So I am going for more curved parts using my jam. And I'm just using the jam to make my parts a little bit more crisp and to make sure that they look as neat and shiny as possible. Because the jam is such a thick product, I am making sure that I smooth that product into my hair by combing it in at the roots. And this is just going to make sure that the product is smooth. Now it is time for the flat twisting part. I am ensuring that I am picking up very, very small pieces as I flat twist. This is going to make sure that your flat twist looks tight, neat, and very, very detailed. flat twisting part we are going to want to secure that flat twist by twisting with two strands all the way down to the end and you also want to make sure that this two strand twist is tight as well and we are on to the next one Once I have quite a few twists in the front, I like to go ahead and secure it with a hair tie so that I can go ahead and focus on flat twisting the sides and the back.
And as you all can see here, I contemplated on leaving my hair like this and doing some curls in the back, but I decided it was too hot. So we just gonna put all of it up by flat twisting in the back, going up in an upwards direction. are all of our flat twists are done our parts were made to be as straight as possible some of them are not perfect but that is fine now I am going to make sure I tighten those flat twists by twisting the actual twist in the direction that makes it tighter and not looser and then I am going to secure it with the hair tie I am going to make sure that I am securing this ponytail as tight to my comfort only because I don't want this bun to move out of place and be like oompa loompa I guess <laughs> but then I am going to take like three sections and roll them under and I am going to secure them with one pin to create this bun I will say that later on in the week I did away with the bobby pins and I just needed another hair tie just to make the bun stay I am using the mousse def foam to make sure that we lay our edges and to make sure that we lay down all flyaways do not skip this step because it really really makes your hair look more crisp and it has a clean finish when you add this step because we are going to secure this hairstyle or set this hairstyle as I like to say under the dryer and I will be applying some black strips as well to assist with the molding and drying process. I set up under the dryer for about 30 to 45 minutes to make sure everything was dry and set in place. I do not recommend removing your black strips if your hair is not dry. You want to make sure that the hair is dry because that is when you'll know that the hair has set. And here's what my hair is looking like after I have did that final process of sitting under the dryer. I really, really love this hairstyle and I'm really, really looking forward to only having to tie a scarf around my head and getting up and going, going in the morning. As always, I hope you all enjoyed the video and found it useful and I can't wait to see you in the next one. See ya!